The concept of the perfect body has been a topic of fascination and debate for centuries. Society's perception of what constitutes an ideal body size is often influenced by cultural, historical, and even individual factors. Two key components frequently discussed in relation to the perfect body are weight and height. But is there a universally perfect body size that combines these two factors? To answer this question, we must delve into the complex relationship between weight and height, taking into account various perspectives, scientific research, and cultural influences. Weight and Height, a Complex Interplay Before we can determine if there's a perfect body size, we must acknowledge that weight and height are two distinct physical attributes, each with its own set of factors and considerations. Weight is primarily associated with body composition, including muscle mass, fat distribution, and overall health. Height, on the other hand, is primarily influenced by genetics, with minimal variation throughout one's life. 1. Body Mass Index BMI. One of the most widely used tools to evaluate the relationship between weight and height is the Body Mass Index BMI. BMI is calculated by dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters. The formula for BMI is as follows. BMI equals weight, kg, forward slash, height, m, caret 2. The resulting number categorizes individuals into different weight classes, underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. While BMI provides a quick and easy way to assess an individual's body composition, it has limitations. BMI does not account for factors such as muscle mass, body composition, or distribution of weight. Therefore, it may not be an accurate indicator of overall health or body perfection. 2. Individual Variation it's important to recognize that the perfect body size can vary greatly from person to person. What's perfect for one individual may not be the same for another. Factors such as genetics, metabolism, and lifestyle all play a role in determining an individual's ideal weight and height. Some people are naturally taller or shorter, and some have a genetic predisposition to carry more or less weight. 3. Cultural Influences Cultural norms and standards of beauty also heavily influence our perception of the perfect body. These standards can vary significantly across different societies and time periods. For example, some cultures may value a cuvier body shape, while others may emphasize a lean and slender physique. The media and fashion industries have played a significant role in shaping these ideals, often promoting unrealistic standards that can lead to body dissatisfaction and unhealthy behaviors. Scientific Perspective, Health and Well-Being It's essential to recognize that health is not solely determined by weight and height. While being underweight or overweight can be associated with certain health risks, it's not a definitive measure of one's overall well-being. A person's health is influenced by a complex interplay of genetics, lifestyle, diet, exercise, and mental well-being. Moreover, body weight alone does not consider body composition. Two individuals with the same weight and height may have entirely different body compositions. One might have a higher percentage of muscle mass, while the other may have more body fat. Muscle weighs more than fat, so relying solely on weight can be misleading when assessing fitness and health. Factors that contribute to a healthy body size. 1. Body composition. Achieving a healthy balance of muscle and fat is crucial. Muscle is metabolically active and helps burn calories, while excess body fat can increase the risk of various health problems. 2. Nutrition. Eating a well-rounded diet that provides essential nutrients is essential for overall health. This includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. 3. Physical activity. Regular exercise helps maintain a healthy weight, improves cardiovascular health, and contributes to overall well-being. 
For mental health, a positive body image and a healthy relationship with one's body are essential aspects of well-being. Mental health factors into what an individual considers their perfect body size. 5. Genetics. Height, on the other hand, is largely determined by genetics. A person's genes play a significant role in determining their maximum potential height. While nutrition and environmental factors can influence growth during childhood and adolescence, genetics set the upper limit for an individual's height. This means that some people will naturally be shorter or taller than others, regardless of their efforts to change it. The role of math in self-acceptance. Mathematics can play a positive role in helping individuals understand their bodies better and make informed decisions about their health. Rather than striving for an abstract notion of a perfect body, individuals can use mathematical tools to set realistic and achievable health goals. For instance, setting specific and measurable goals for weight loss or muscle gain can be beneficial. Calculating one's daily caloric needs using mathematical equations can help with weight management. However, it's crucial to approach these calculations with a focus on health and well-being rather than a narrow pursuit of perfection. Summary and Conclusion The perfect body is based on health, not numbers. In conclusion, the concept of an ideal body size is highly subjective and influenced by various factors, including genetics, culture, and personal preferences. Rather than obsessing over specific numbers on a scale or ruler, the focus should be on achieving and maintaining good health and well-being. A healthy body size is one that allows an individual to lead an active, fulfilling life and reduces the risk of chronic disease. Ultimately, the perfect body is a unique and personal journey that varies from person to person. It's not about conforming to societal norms, it's about embracing and nurturing your body in a way that promotes health and happiness. Instead of aiming for an ideal weight or height, strive for balance, self-acceptance, and a commitment to a healthy lifestyle that works for you. Remember that health and self-confidence come in all shapes and sizes. It is important that you learn about the harmful drinks that destroy the freshness of youth if you are over 30 years old, through the video clip that appears in front of you on the screen. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you can watch videos that benefit you a lot. Thank you for looking after yourself.